How's it going guys? I'm Matt Torxasator and today we're going to be covering some more Fallout 4 glitches that you can still do. Now once again, if you guys have any glitches that you think I missed, feel free to post them in the comments below. And anyway, let's get on with the video. Alright, so the first glitch is one of the simplest glitches in this video. All you need to do is go up to a super flat wall and pull out something in your inventory that can be used. Now what we're going to do is hold the grab button, put it under your feet, and then just hold backwards and you're going to scale up the wall. And as you can see, just using that piece of armor, we were able to completely scale up this building. Alright, so to start this next glitch, you're going to need to get dog meat from the Red Rocket truck stop. Alright, so once you have dog meat, you're going to need to guide him back through Vault 111 all the way to that starting room where you found the cryo leader. And since dog meat's AI is a little finicky, you're going to need to get him in this room with the door closed. But once you have him in here, you're going to go into his trade menu and tell him to fetch and you're going to tell him to fetch an item. And since there's nothing else in this area for Dongmi to grab, he's going to reach into the cryolator case, and you'll be able to get the cryolator for free without having any lockpicking skills. So for glitch number three, you're going to need to go to any of the settlements you own and build a trading stand. To make this glitch work, we're going to be using our good old scrap store duplication method. So for those of you who don't know, how this glitch works is you're going to press store and scrap at the exact same time and make sure to hold down the store button. And how you'll know it works is if you see two overlapping menus pop up at the same time. And as you can see, each time that we scrap our trading stand, it gives us 750 caps, but we still get to keep the stand after we scrap it. And And with number four, we're using another glitch that has been shown in the channel before, and that is the weapon modifying glitch. Now how this works is you take a weapon and press scrap and modify at the exact same time. And if you do it right, you will be adding attachments from your previous weapon to any weapon of your choosing. Now in this instance, we're using a Chinese serrated officer blade and a ripper, because the officer blade does heavy damage and the ripper has a very high rate of attack. Alright, so how this glitch works is we're going to have our sword with the name 0 and our ripper with the name 1. Now this is very important, otherwise your game will try and modify some random piece of gear or junk in your menu. But if you have them named, they are going to follow sequentially. So once you press scrap and modify at the same time, you simply just add your intended attachment to your ripper. Now I use the Chinese officer sword, but you could use anything like a ripper or like a super sledge or any big strong weapon to up the damage of your ripper. Finally, saving the best for last, we have the special duplication book glitch. Now what you're going to want to do is go into a weapons workbench with nothing but a set of bladed knuckles with a lowercase x and your special book. Now you can use it already, it doesn't matter. Now once again we use the scrap modify glitch and this time, we're somehow able to put a bladed upgrade on our special book. Now, once you have modified your special book, you're going to drop it on the ground and go into your workbench menu. Now, by combining both of our two glitches, we hit the store scrap glitch, and we're able to store our special book. And once we have stored it and scrapped it, if we go into our workbench menu, we suddenly have a fully working book that allows us to pick our special stats. And all you have to do after it's used is put it on the ground, scrap and store it again, and you have infinite special stats all the way up to 10. Alright, and with that guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you like this type of content and want to see more, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to tell me that you want to see more of this in the future. And make sure to check part 1 of my video if you think I have any glitches missed before you comment. And anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video.